Hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course. In the last video, we have talked about the use of Active. In this video, we are going to talk about responsive layout with Flexbox. So what is Flexbox and how to make responsive layout of your app? So we will discuss in this video. So, okay, so we understand like what is responsible UI. Basically responsible UI, it means that let's suppose you have a smaller screen and you have a, a bigger screen. So it should be responsive for all the other screen. It means that your app will work perfectly in any screen. So you have to try to make that app your responsive. To make the app your responsive, we should use mostly Flexbox or Flex. So we'll see that we we'll understand what is Flex and how to make responsible UI. In the last, we will build a responsible UI. Okay. So let's understand the Flexbox. So Flexbox is a layout model that allows you to design flexible and responsive layout in React Native. Okay. So basically Flexbox is the layout model, okay, and which allows us to make the flexible and responsive layout in React Native. It consists of Flex containers and Flex item. So basically how does Flex looks like? Basically you have a one Flex container, okay, and inside the Flex container you are gonna have uh, some items, okay. So that is how a Flex looks like. We will see the pictures uh, in some times. Flex containers are component that contains Flex items and control how they are so basically flex are just like a container and where inside the container we have item and container decide like how does item is gonna visible or how does items gonna be uh, see flex items are the children of of flex containers and are laid out according to the rules defined by the flex containers okay so inside the flex container uh, we have flex items and the flex container uh, will define how the flex item is gonna look like okay so there are some properties about the flex like you know flex direction like which direction you want to so it's gonna be row direction or column direction or row reverse yeah or column reverse okay so flex direction properties help us to apply this justify container so how does item the flex item how, how this is gonna be look like like in the flex start or flex end or center so our space between a space around between the your flex items align items so how does your items gonna be aligned vertically okay not sorry not vertically but but horizontally so whenever we uh, apply align items so it will align with the cross axis of the flex container okay so basically how does the cross axis like this one okay so how how it's gonna be visible like it's gonna be visible the flex start or flex end or the center or the normal one and flex tab is one of the most property to make the responsive let's suppose flex tab what does property do if you apply the wrap so control whether flex items are posed onto a single line or wrap to the multiple lines basically if you apply a flex wrap property as a wrap so let's suppose you have, you have a one flex flex container and we have applied a flex wrap property to the flex container so let's suppose we have a five items and it can only take two items in a one row so what is going to happen first second and the third items go on the bottom of the uh, below of that second okay and align content property is used to uh, alignment with the flex line containers so how does your content gonna be uh, aligned so we'll discuss about later also so let's see the like you know if, if we apply a flex direction as a as a start so flex is start so it's gonna be look like this and if we apply the flex and uh, sorry justify contains a flex start so it will gonna be start and if we uh, apply property called justify uh, justify contains a flex and so it's gonna be in the end and if like justify content center so it will be around the center and if we space between so it will be having a space between the items and space around so it will gonna be space around around the items and specifically so it will have a space semi space between the items okay so let's see how we can you know let's learn about the uh, uh, flex box in the uh, by code so I'm going to remove this whole code which we have learned in the last session and I'm going to create quickly uh, one component so I'm writing rnfes okay and it, it is created one component for me okay now you can see that uh, if I apply 
let's add a property style and styles dot container this is the container and if i make the container as a background color as a red okay so you can see that it's only taking this width whatever the text has but we want that it should take the whole width so what we have to do we have to apply flex one okay so what is whenever we type a flex one so what is gonna happen it will take to the whole width you know all the width of your screen okay so whenever we apply a flex one it will took the whole width and inside inside that if we, let's suppose inside this uh, container if we uh, again make a another container okay and if we define as a style okay and styles dot current style dot uh, second container second container okay and again if i copy this whole property and second container and make it a blue okay so you can see that it's just just override the uh, uh, basically what has happened now whenever we give a second container as a flex one so it has taken the whole width of your uh, of your screen okay now if it's taken the whole screen and what we want to do like you know whenever we apply a flex one flex one so it will split the screen with a 50 50 percent okay let's see that example so let's suppose we have a style and i'm gonna style as a style and styles dot uh, styles dot child one okay and let me another create another view style is a styles dot child two and i'm just copy this property so child one okay and the flex one as a color will be pink for now for the child one so you can see that it has taken the whole width again but when we apply the child two properties the flex one so what is happening what does happen so second container has a full width right it has the parent flex container has a full width and when we apply the child one so it has taken the whole width okay but when we apply the child two as a flex one so it will apply it will make divide the percentage so the child one is gonna take the 50 percent and the child two is taking the rest of it so let me show you quickly so i'm going to define as a child two as a background uh child two background color background color will be black and okay let me show you so i just apply the background color as a black but nothing applies but let's apply the flex one property when i apply the flex one property so you can see that it just split the 50 percent width and let me make as a color will be yellow instead of black okay so you can see that now again what if i again add another child three component so it will what is gonna do it will again split it it will divide the container into three part so let me show you again the so child three okay and the background color is sorry my bad background color will be orange okay and if i apply flex one so you can see that what is happening so nothing happened right now okay child three child three and i have done a typo orange spelling so you can see that we got a three component and it divide with the three view again if we you know make like this child four so it will split into the four component four now if i make a 50 so it will become a 50 50 so divide 100 divide by uh, 5 so it will take the 20 20 20 percent of all the uh, width okay now let's understand that uh, let me add only three view for now okay now uh, what we want to do we want to make a uh, understand the flex direction property and we if you want to make a like currently what is happening to so all the items are in the column direction we want to make as a, a row direction so what we can do we have to write flex direction 
okay and the row when i apply the flex action as row you can see that it changed with the row okay now after that i want to give it some you know space between the items so what we can do we can have a justify content as a space around so what is going to happen it will give some space to the items okay but nothing happens and uh, let me give us uh, some property because it's that taken the whole width uh, okay so what we can do okay let, let's leave it this property and if i give justify content space between so it will again not apply because it has taken the whole width and after give some apply uh, margin if i apply margin margin left as a 10 okay so you can see that the margin is applies 10 and if i apply to the child one so it will even the margin left as a 10 and if i do margin right so you can see that some taken a margin okay now we have seen the flex tags and property and justify content space between and apart from that what else to uh, apart from else, i think yeah justify content flex direction and whenever we give a flex one property so it will take the whole with whatever the parent has okay and yeah i think that's all about it and you guys have to practice a lot about the flex so you have to try you have to make a layout and you know align that and that's how you learn the flex box or and Flexbox is one of the most important topic in React Native uh, for the building layouts. I think that's all in this video. We will uh, discuss uh, styling of button in the next video. Please let me know guys if you have any question. Thank you. Bye.